morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. You? Very fine. Thank you. Good. Thanks for picking me up. Oh, you? No worries. All right, bro. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Take care. Have a good day. So we just got to the Atlanta airport. Today we're going to Tijuana, Mexico. Um, first flight to LA and then take a bus to Tijuana. Um, probably gonna be getting in around one o'clock in the morning. So it's gonna be a really long day. Uh, right now it's about almost nine in the morning. So yeah, it's gonna be a fatty. Join me. I was about to go through security but I checked my phone and American Airlines had canceled my flight and just automatically rebooked me on another one. So it was gonna be way too late in the day. I was gonna be getting into LA at like nine at night and then Tijuana probably tomorrow morning. So don't really wanna do that. So luckily I have two travel credit cards. So I was able to check the, my Delta credit card, uh, Sky Miles and see if there was any available flights and luckily there were at the same time as my canceled American Airlines flight. So anyways, all that goes to say, we're still on track, but fuck you American Airlines for canceling two of my flights. I canceled one before that and then just automatically booking me on another. So I have to like figure that out now. I have two boarding passes. I'm not sure. Uh, anyways, enough, enough of that, but we're still on track. Here we go. Fully over your nose and your mouth. For that, the crew will thank you first. and from there I'm supposed to take another bus that takes me to the Greyhound station. So the, the bus, the Greyhound to Tijuana leaves at 2 p.m. That's when my ticket is for. Right now it's 1.10 and the bus driver said the bus takes about 40 to 50 minutes to get there. So even if that's true, even if we get there at 1.10 or 1.50, I think I'm still shit out of luck. And the next Greyhound leaves at 7 p.m. tonight and then arrives in Tijuana at like 1 in the morning. So that's the most likely situation unless a miracle happens. So we're probably going to be hanging out in L.A. all day today. All right. Right now it's 2 o'clock. So my uh, Greyhound bus is leaving from a different location. So I think I'm just gonna kick it here for a while. I don't know, fuck around at this uh, train station and see what they got going on. But my next bus leaves in a little under five hours. So we got some time to kill. I just talked with one of the uh, Union Station employees and they told me there actually is a Greyhound pickup spot here. So I very well might be in luck. We'll see. But it's at the very end of the station and like I said, it's like 2.05 right now so I'm not sure what's about to happen. Well, this is the place they told me the, the bus comes but I just checked the schedule and uh, the Tijuana bus is not going to come here. I think it's further south. So it's either wait here for another four and a half hours or 
Uh, I could take an Amtrak. I'm not really sure what's about to happen, but I'm gonna go ask to see ticket prices and see see what's going on. But uh, spirits aren't down. I mean, I knew this was a possibility, and just kind of rolling with the punches today. So we're gonna keep on trucking. Hello, how are you? Um, I'm trying to go to Tijuana, honestly. I know you don't go there, but you go all the way to San Diego, right? And then is there a way, is there like an Amtrak bus or is there an easy way to get? Okay, cool. How much is it? 36 one way. 36 one way. All right, let me think on it. Okay. My indecision strikes again. I'm not sure if I should just hang out here all day or go to San Diego. Fuck it. I think I should go. I think I should go. Hello. Hello. Um, I would like a ticket to uh, San Diego, please. San Diego, downtown Santa Fe. Whatever is further south. That has to stay up your nose okay. and mouth while on the train. Okay. You're all set. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. All right. We got a physical ticket. When's the last time you got a physical ticket for something? It's amazing. And in this like really old train station, super, I don't know. I got a physical ticket. This train station's old. I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right, so the train leaves in 40 minutes. Gonna get some food and kick it. And then we'll be on the train. I'm so happy. I fucking love trains. When I used to live in Japan, I took trains all the time and I really fell in love with how convenient they are, so it's pretty dope. You can take one basically all the way to the border. So there's not a ton of options for food in this train station, but I looked on Google Maps and we're just a few blocks away from Chinatown. So you best believe I'm about to go get some dumplings or ramen or something, I don't know. Chinese food to go. That's the move. So there was a, uh, a dude speaking Chinese in there. I'm not sure if it was Mandarin or not, but he was speaking some kind of Asian. And uh, he ordered something, and then I ordered exactly the same thing because I'm sure he knows what he's talking about. So. Yeah, right now it's 2.55, the train leaves in 15 minutes. I think I'll be straight, but we are cutting it a little close because I don't know where the uh, the terminal is. Uh, uh oh, vlogging in the street, vlogging in the street. Don't hit me. Cutting it a little close. Um, I just couldn't make this an easy day, could I? I couldn't just eat McDonald's in the train station and be happy with that. I had to go get something exotic but I think we're gonna be fine. Did y'all see that gas sign? It was $6 for gas, dude. $6, that's ridiculous. I just got a fat plate, a fat plate, two sides or two meats and a side for 10 bucks. So, budget travel, baby. We made it, guys. We didn't miss the train. We got Chinese food. We're not waiting for six hours in a bus terminal. I'd say we're winning. This is a fat plate of food. Ten bucks. My folks is be the final call. Final call for Southbound Amtrak 580. All aboard. real meal of the day and I can just relax and sit my ass on the train. Life's good. Shout out to the Chinese guy that ordered this right before me. Thanks for the recommendation, bro. This shit is delicious. So I've been having a great time on the Amtrak so far. We got, I got my own seat next to me, tray tables, 
little foot tray, nice little curtain. Yeah, this is really nice, dude. This is much better than a crowded bus stopping every 15 minutes, stopping at red lights in uh, Southern California traffic. So definitely much prefer this. But just had some drama unfold. Uh, I went to go get some water. There's like a cafe car where they give you coffee and water and snacks and stuff. And my mask broke. So I went down there asking for a new mask and for some water and the guy like screamed at me like you have to get out of the car you can't be down here without a mask and i was like all right where can i get a mask then and he's like i don't know the captain's up there or the uh conductor's up there somewhere and i said where there's like eight cars and he's like i don't know it's just she's somewhere up there and i was like okay and he just verbally assaulted me and told me to leave and put me in timeout and he's like you can't be down here you have to go up up these stairs you can't be in this car you have to be upstairs so i just kind of sat upstairs and waited for the conductor to bring me a mask like a good boy <laughs> it's ridiculous dude i knew uh you know i had heard people in southern california were really uptight about covid stuff but i thought that was just ridiculous so anyways that's done we're moving on but everything else is great This is San Diego. Welcome. It's my first time here. Yeah, about the business with the mask on the train. Yeah, my mask broke and the fucking guy in the cafe was screaming at me and I was like, where do I get a mask, dude? And he was not being very cooperative. He was just trying to make me feel bad, so. But we're gonna forget about that. We're in San Diego now. Uh, with the time change, it's 6.20 right now, but I am very tired. Don't have a ton of energy, um, but I am curious to check out San Diego. So uh, I think I will. I think I'll do that. And then probably cross the border tonight and then pass out in my hotel. Not explore Tijuana tonight. Probably explore a little bit of San Diego. So we're going to keep it going. So now we're headed to some park. Uh, I just saw on Google Maps this like big waterfront park. So I figured it'd be kind of nice to see at night. Um, and that's all I know about it. But right now I'm hearing music and I think there's a lot of stuff going on right now because uh, it's actually October 30th, tomorrow's Halloween, so I think people are out and about. But this is what I miss, this feeling I miss about travel. Like, I have no idea what's about to happen. I've never been here in my life. I don't even know what this place is called. Anything really could happen. No idea. So it's actually not a concert. They're showing uh, a kids movie and there's all these families out here on the, on the lawn. Cool. I mean, the reason I came here was because I figured if it's a park on, you know, on the ocean or the bay or whatever the hell this is, um, it's not gonna be spendy, it'll be cheap, it'll be pretty. And it sure is pretty, but I imagine I'll have to spend a lot of money to have a good time here. It's just like, there's just stores and restaurants and there's not really like a public area. I mean, I don't really want to watch this kid's movie, so I'm gonna keep it moving. Are you going to a costume party? No, 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 no. Oh. I, I'm just kind of walking around and it's a beautiful evening, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go get some tacos over at um, Jack in the Box. They're only like a dollar something. <laughs> Nice, exactly. That's why I'm going to Tijuana. I want those cheap, cheap tacos. Oh my God, the street tacos, yeah. And they stay open late, right? Yes, yes. Perfect. I like Hi. how you asked, yeah, she asked if I was dressed up for Halloween as a tourist. Yes. <laughs> yes. I looked the part. <laughs> yes, let me show you what he looks like. They know, they know the look. Oh yeah, <laughs> he looks handsome. Very Thank handsome. You. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming from LA and I'm noticing people are a lot more open and friendly here compared to LA. I think you're right. I think you're right. And the weather's better. You saw the daytime, right? The daytime was perfect. No, I just got here actually. 
What time did you get here? Like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> get out of here, really? Yeah. Oh my God, that is awesome. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's really going on. I sometimes wonder because I had a friend who just died on the 5th. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, of COVID and she didn't want, you know, she didn't want to pay attention to the distancing, to the disinfecting or the mask. Oh, wow. And she probably didn't even get her vac vaccines. Uh -huh. And she's a little bit older than me and she passed on. I'm sorry. And when I heard, I was like, I was shocked. I was really upset that she wasn't even careful. And it's <laughs> better that we live life to the fullest every day, no right. matter what. But still be careful and be safe yep. and appreciate your loved ones and the people around you. So yeah, tell me well, your name again. Connor. Connor. Yeah. Wow. Nice name. Thanks. I'm Connie. <laughs> You're what? Connie! Connie, whoa! Connor, Connie! <laughs> Similar. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Well, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. I hope you too. enjoy your dollar tacos. So, anyway. All right, Connie. Bye. Take it God easy. bless you. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Shout out to Connie. She's a legend. <laughs> So right now it's about, well, I don't really know what time it is, but the Braves, the Atlanta Braves, my baseball team, are playing in the World Series right now. So what I'm gonna do is pop a squat at one of these bars, watch the game, and then continue on to Tijuana. Here we are. Just getting here. Wait, what's your name, bro? My name is Jordan. Cool, I'm Connor. What's up, bro? Nice to meet you. Does it get crazy in Tijuana? Like nah, people dude, go don't out. Don't piss on the street. Is all I gotta say. Don't fucking piss on. Is the street. Is that what you did? If you piss on the street and a cop finds you, you're gonna be. Yeah. Is it safe there, bro? Uh, I mean, as long as you aren't too fucked up, yeah, I think you're gonna be alright. Yeah. Just, just don't be a dumbass. Yeah. yeah. Okay. TJ is just a very, I don't know, it's like a fluid place. You gotta, you gotta get wild there. There's no like other reason to go down to TJ. So. Okay. So if I go tonight, there's gonna be a lot of gringos like just getting trashed, basically. Are you going tonight? I was going to. I mean, I don't have like. Are you gonna like... drive down? Well, no, no, no. I, I have, I flew here. Oh, so you're gonna take the, the trolley or something? Yeah, the trolley. Is that a good idea? At night, it's a, it might be a little sketchy. Troll is fine. Troll is fine. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying, like, going to Mexico at night oh, is sketchy. Mexico. Yeah. You just walk across the border, and then you can... Uh, I would just make sure that you have a hotel lined up, because you don't want to be scrambling there trying to find a place to stay. That's true. You want to have a hotel lined up, and then you just There's go across, and then just take an Uber yeah. to that hotel. Yeah. Pretty Gucci. Have you ever been to San Diego? No, never. Well, welcome, yeah. Hey. literally out here, like, I want to get a, a video podcast. <laughs> What? Are you gonna have to be? What do you want? Pick some colors. I don't know. What, okay. what do you guys think? Blue and white. What do you think? No, you have to do orange. Blue, white. Red, white, orange. white, and blue, bro. Where are you from? She <laughs> she me. One on. One on. What color do you want? I don't want purple. Okay, pick what color do you want? I want the white. Okay, grass and white. I am grass some other colors. Wow, well, I'm, I was a, a Buddhist. I was a Buddhist monk for three years. That's impressive, honestly. Wow. In, what, in Nepal. What, what was your biggest takeaway? Peace within. Yeah. Peace within. What does that mean? Like, How do you practice lot. that? You med meditation is the best. Meditation. I like that a lot. That's Just sit good. in and meditate. It. That's the best. To let everything go away because his mind is is it nonsense. That's beautiful. And yeah. to find peace within. What about getting drunk? Get drunk. I'm on a beer. I'm on a beer tonight. I love it. Yes, I'm here tonight. Yeah. I got it. Some guy just bought me a beer and a oh, burger for a, a couple guy. of balloons. <laughs> nice. Cheers, man. Cheers, Cheers man. man. Cheers, my Cheers. friend. Cheers. You from San Diego? Uh, me and yeah. him are. San Diego, LA. LA. Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia, yeah. I've been to Athens. I love Athens, dude. Uh, my, I, my friend from Athens sells me, sells me LSD. Should we get a little pink? Ah, Athens. Athens. Hundred times. Three hundred. <laughs> Athens, let's go. Yeah, from Athens, Georgia. All the other kids with the pumped up kicks, they better run, better run. 
faster than my gun. Oh, you want? No, he likes pink. He's gay. He's a gay Scooby. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Fucking why not? Fucking why not? He's gay as fuck. <laughs> He's gay as fuck. Smokes pot. Got the munchies. He's from Israel. Oh Where did you learn goodness. this, dude? What is this? Is this a hat? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, guys, I've made some new friends. Uh, we have Lindsay and Jordan. Jer Jordan Bobby. and Lonnie. Don't forget Bobby. Nice to meet you. They are living in San Diego. They're my local tour guides. Yes. We're gonna go to another bar, right? In Little Italy, San Diego. Yes. Nice. Little Italy, San Diego. We I come so. wielding our balloons. One of mine popped, and I don't really know what's about to happen. Hopefully I make it to Tijuana tonight. We'll see. <laughs> White claws with a little thing on the... Why did you have one? We just had them for a little bit of time and then we gave them to... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Is she this like a dog? This one looks exactly... Oh, you happy It has a white stripe just like Winston too. Good. So do you walk her? Oh. Yeah. She's, She's like, litter box trained, but she likes walking. Oh. Dude, that is awesome. She likes this stamp. I oh, wish I would have kept my It's too late. Yeah. All right, dude. All right, peeps. Good to meet good you. To meet you. Yeah. This way. Yeah, it's good to meet you. I'll have to look at your... Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. All right. Be hey, safe enjoy. out there. Have fun. Yeah, you too. Thanks for chumming around. Yeah. Peace. All right, y'all, just got off the trolley uh, at the international border. Plan was to book a hotel online before I got to the border, but dude, there is nothing, bro. I, I've been calling hotels left and right. Any hotel's phone number that I can find, I've been calling them and nobody has room. So I, uh, I don't know what's about to happen, honestly. I'm uh, pretty nervous. But I think um, my fallback plan will be if I go across the border and I can't find anything, I'll just go back to San Diego. So usually when I travel, I'm very um, optimistic about things and I just kind of wing it as you guys know. Um, but it's situations like this where I'm, I think I kind of screwed myself this time. But now, I have no options and I'm just gonna take the first thing that I find because I don't want to be walking around a new place not knowing where the hell I'm going at 11 o'clock at night so I think we'll be fine I think I'm gonna be safe but the issue is the unknown so let's plunge into the unknown together Let's fucking go! We're in Mexico, baby. Another country. First country in four months. Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> Already it feels different, dude. I hear Latin music blasting. Smell some tacos. So, I think we're in for a good time, even though we don't know where we're gonna sleep tonight. We'll figure it out. Just got through border security and uh, trying to walk to the hotel district. Get to know the city a little bit and then maybe uh, see some hotels on the way. If there's anything cheaper or anything available, I'm not sure. So I'm using Apple Maps to walk to my hotel or a hotel I'm trying to book. And uh, they're, the directions are taking me on this highway. It's telling me to literally walk on this motherfucking interstate highway. So, that's not happening. I'm gonna go back and get a taxi. Hotel <laughs> Paris. Hotel Paris. Listo. Cuanto? Cinco dollars. Ay, sería... Tres dollars, si? Como sesenta pesos. No, yo mi salida si son cinco dollars. Dale pues, ok. Dale. Listo. Gracias. All right, five bucks to the center of town. 
Ooh, I look disheveled. I feel disheveled. It's like 2 a.m. East Coast time. I woke up at like 6.30, so. Yeah, I'm definitely getting ripped off right now, but fuck it, I just want this day to be over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a fucking rip off. $5 for like a three minute taxi ride. But you know what, I'm here, I'm in the centro, so let's find a hotel. All right, so this is what we're dealing with. Holiday weekend, Saturday night, border town. I can't imagine I'm gonna find a reasonably priced hotel. But as long as I lay my head somewhere and I have hot water, I really don't care. So let's get a move on. Buenas noches. Bien, okay. ¿Tienes habitaciones? Dime. Ah, fuck, okay. Hay un hotel que me recomiendas de ah, que es cerca. Hotel la sexta y es otra escuela para la sexta. Hay muchas. Listo. Gracias. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. If it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth it. All good things in life are hard to come by. Like a hotel room in Mexico. Hay <laughs> espacio. No. Okay. okay, gracias. Fuck, bro. Fuck. Alright, I'm gonna go to every hotel they have in this fucking town. Mark my words, before the end of the night, I will get a hotel room and I will get a taco. If it's the last thing I do. Wow, those tacos were very good. I had the lengua, the tongue with the uh, green sauce. And usually green sauce isn't very spicy, but this shit made my whole face tingle. It was incredible. Super vibrant, really fresh flavors happening. I can't even really describe it. It almost tasted like mint. It tasted so fresh. All right, now we're fueled up. Now let's actually find a hotel and go to bed. It's time. So this is what we're dealing with. This is the vibe. As time goes on, I'm uh, less and less hopeful that we'll find a hotel, but uh, we're still here. We can't go back to the US tonight because there's no more trains. So we're here for the night, that's for damn sure. We will stay in Mexico, it just is a matter of where. All right, so this is where I start to get a little sketched out. When I start to go away from the main areas. Um, but this is where the hotel I'm looking for is, so. Ah, oh, dude, did not put myself in the best situation tonight, did I? All right, here's one of the final options, Hotel Suiza. All right. Say a little prayer, my followers. I'll see if this works. Hola, buenas. Hay espacio. Hay espacio. Hay habitaciones. En todo el pueblo, no. Okay. Listo. Gracias. Okay. Fuck, dude. It's midnight, bro. I'm walking around fucking Tijuana at midnight. Oh, man. All right. We're gonna find a room. It's just gonna take a while, and uh, I gotta be smart about where I go. All right, new development. After sitting on this here curb for about 15 minutes and calling every single hotel I could find on Google Maps, I found one or two with rooms. One of them is $180 a night. The other is $133 a night. 
So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pay $130 a night in a Latin American country to go to bed. But that's what I get. I didn't plan. I came on a holiday weekend, so. <sighs> All right, almost done with this day. I feel like at this point, this vlog is gonna be like 45 minutes, but hey, as long as we're together. <laughs> I just found a friend, and he's gonna help me find a hotel room. ¿Cómo se llama? Ulises. Ulises. Muchas gracias. Uh -huh. Encontramos una habitación. Uh -huh. Wow. They actually have a room here. Holy shit. Hola, buenas. ¿Cuánto es? Para toda la noche, 500 pesos. Ah, listo. Okay. Es muy justo. Listo, gracias. All right, guys. Thanks to the help of a friendly local, we finally found our fucking hotel room. Paid twenty seven dollars. Here's what twenty seven dollars gets you in Mexico. A bed. A television that works. A mirror. Okay, 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 okay. You know what? This is better than sleeping on the street. <laughs> Let's just stick with that. This is better than sleeping on the street. So gracias to what's his face for hooking it up. This is better than paying $130. This is more my style than a $130 hotel room. <sighs> Holy shit. What a long day. We left the house at like 7.30 this morning, East Coast time. Right now in East Coast time, it's 3.30 in the morning. So 20 hour day, something like that. Thank you guys for joining along. Thanks for watching this long in the video. <sighs> I'm sparing no time getting undressed because I am fucking tired. But you know what? Today we had an adventure. It was long, it was hard, it was difficult. But God damn it, it was an adventure. And it's better than sitting at home. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ. This hotel room thing was quite the fiasco. I didn't, honestly, I was contemplating going back across the border and sleeping in San Diego, but that did not come to fruition, thank God. We're here in the beautiful Casa Limpio. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you. Until next time, peace. Right after I drank that second cup, dude, I was like, what have I done? I just took one of the strongest psychedelics on the planet. I just took a double dose the first time I drank it.